right guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be looking at the best settings here in black ops cold war now they have added a new thing here in the settings that we're gonna be going over and i'm gonna tell you what to use so guys if you are new to my channel and love the best class setups and the craziest gameplays and of course the best settings make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications if you guys are brand new because guys we are less than 7,000 subscribers away from hitting 100,000 subscribers so if you guys can make sure to do so but anyways guys let's hit 150 likes on today's video and let's get straight up into the settings all right guys so we're gonna start out with our controller settings first and then we'll do audio so what i have for my horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity is gonna be eight on high now this is basically in between it's not too slow nor it's too fast it's very very good when you see me in my gameplays i look very comfortable on what i'm doing and it's it's just very comfortable to me so that is one of the most important things when it comes to being a better player in call of duty is you need a comfortable sensitivity now like i said it's not too slow nor it's fast it's kind of in between it's very good so either you want both of these to be eight on high now going into the ads stink sensitivity low and high zoom i'm gonna have a 0.8 now basically what this means is when you're aiming down a high scope or a high zoom which is like a sniper rifle a three times etc this when you aim down sight it's gonna be slower when you're trying to look around so this will help you be more accurate and as well the low zoom which is basically like an iron sight red dot sights and stuff like that as well again when you aim down sight when you're moving around depending on what this sensitivity is it's gonna be slower or higher i have it on a lower 8.8 .8, so it helps me be more slower and i'm more accurate when firing so definitely the ads sensitivity low and high zoom you want to put at 0.8 now for my button layout i have it default the flip L2, R2, L1, R1 is default. My invert vertical look is disabled. I don't want to look down and look up, look up and look down, etc. Now, this is another thing. Now, a lot of people ask me about this. Aim response curve type. You want to put it as dynamic. Now, not too many people know about this and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to put this in a an easier form definition for stuff. So, for linear, this will help you more with if you're trying to get better at call of duty you're trying to get better with aiming this will kind of help you aim a little bit more and with dynamic this is basically if you're just trying if you're just trying to go straight up to what pros use this helps a lot better because whatever you, when you move it moves with it so definitely it as you see here it's a faster response that is smoother out with a higher stick deflection so definitely dynamic is by far way way better than the standard or linear so dynamic will be our aim response curve type now controller vibration this is up to you i have mine off because it throws my aim off so definitely it's up to you again opinion here now for gameplay, you want to have aim assist on if you're playing on controller. Definitely it's going to help out a lot more. It's going to help your performance. It's going to help you a lot more better in just Call of Duty in general. So having this on is really good. Now this is something that I have um, just a lot of people have talked to me about in my streams and stuff. Target aim assist mode. Just keep it on standard. These legacy precision and focusing, they're just not it, honestly. Like people are saying use precision because it, you know, it tells you like a little like definition here. Precision strong aim slow down that only kicks when aiming closer to a target. Best for accurate players. And, you know, it tells you, you know, it tells you everything. But honestly, standard's more comfortable for, for me. You know, if you want to try precision, I would say if I wasn't going to use a uh, standard, I would use precision. But definitely standard is by far my favorite thing to run i don't like to switch up my settings because it does definitely throw me off but next here is the ads aim assist you want to have on airborne mantle behavior i used to have this off where it would be you have to like what's manual i have this on now because really the you know the auto jump or auto mantle is not bad anymore like they definitely did a lot of improving on it so definitely automatic is really good i don't really change this up anymore so i'm gonna keep it on automatic aim down sight behavior is on hold you don't want it on toggle steady aim behavior hold armor behavior uh you only can put one on here in cold war so definitely just applying one or apply all don't really matter uh vehicle attack vehicle control mode aim based stick layout now this is important I keep mine at default. ADS stick swap is disabled. Now this is where it gets really, really 
tricky and this is really important here now you have left stick minimum input threshold i'm gonna put mine all the way down to zero now the lower you have this it's gonna make it look like you have drift but definitely when you're having a uh, minimum like input on your controller on the left stick you're moving so it doesn't take as much pressure to move on your left stick so definitely this is very important to run in my opinion because sometimes if you are just you know i don't know like if you're doing something with one hand it's a lot easier to press down on it easier instead of harder so you can definitely just you don't have to put much power into it so definitely have that on left stick max just have it on 99 you want it maximum right stick i'm keeping at 10 uh you definitely don't want to have any lower input uh threshold on the right stick because definitely that is your aiming stick so you definitely don't want to mess with that because it will look like you have drift and it will mess you up a lot if you don't have this on 10 on 10 it's very perfect just because it does not move it doesn't look like you have any drift so keep that on and of course the 99 uh on the max input threshold on the right stick now this is very important guys trigger dead zone sensitivity you're gonna put this at 0.01 because the initial default is at 0.13 all right you want to bring this all the way down just because you don't have to put too much pressure in your triggers so this is definitely a new thing that you've added which is very very cool so i have this is most important guys 0.01 have that on guys now for auto move forward is disabled auto sprint disabled sprint behavior is the go to sprint cancels reload disabled uh, parachute auto deploy is enabled equipment behavior is hold and interact reload behavior is tap to reload because this is not war zone now guys that is my controller settings let's go ahead and get straight up into our audio settings okay guys now we are with our audio settings now basically on the top part very quickly i have master volume at 100 sound effects at 100 dialogue volume at 100 cinematics volume at 100 now the next important thing here is audio preset now if you're wearing headsets and if you're i don't know if, if people play on tvs anymore so it's through the speakers i used to do that but if you are using earbuds earbuds a headset or anything like that use headphones this is going to make your headset a lot more heavier sounding so it's very good for footsteps you'll definitely hear people reloading hear their characters call out this is very helpful just to have your headset louder so you can hear more through your headset which is very very helpful i run the astro a40s with a mix amp so definitely having that does help help out a lot more so the headset audio preset headphones hit marker sound i haven't enabled so i know i'm hitting people select hit marker sound effect you can have classic or default classics one of my favorite things to run speakers don't really matter because i'm on a computer voice chat it doesn't really matter you can have it on and off if i have it off i don't hear people on i hear i just like to talk to my fans sometimes some of you guys might be in my game and i talk to you guys it's very awesome so let's go down here to uh it doesn't really I there's nothing really else to say but um that's really it <laughs> that is really it guys um honestly that's all you really need to know the most important thing is there is audio preset you want to have it on headphones and you know have your cinematics and your dialogues all the volumes at 100 beside music because it gets annoying sometimes but anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for my settings i do hope this helped you out guys thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all later peace